in just four calculations and eight steps, I'm going to show you how to compute churn rate in Tableau. Customer churn rate is the percentage of customers that you lost over a predetermined time period. And customer churn rate is bad because if you don't know how many customers are leaving, then you don't know the impact on your revenue and you can't take steps to correct it. The churn rate formula is the number of customers you lost divided by the number of customers at the start of the time period. For example, if you had 500 customers at the start and you lost 10, then 10 divided by 500 gives you a 2% churn rate. You can edit these calculations I'm gonna show you to fit whatever time periods work for you. Let's get started. If you're new here, my name's Andy. I'm the global head coach of the Data School. I created this channel to help you become great at Tableau. Did you know almost two thirds of you don't subscribe to this channel? If that's you, make sure you click on that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss anything. I want you to learn as much as possible as you can from me. We're gonna start by calculating the three month churn rate. First, right click on order date and create a custom date. Call it months. In the detail, choose months. Make sure you leave it at date value and click on okay. Now let's get into our four calculations. First, we need to compute the customers over the last three months. Name the calculation customers last three months. The calculation is window sum count distinct of customer name. We want to go from minus two periods backwards to zero, which is our current period. So standing at zero, going backwards two periods gives us three months. Click on OK. Duplicate that calculation. Right click on that calculation and choose edit. Calculation number two, we're going to call customers last six months. All we need to change here is the minus two to a minus five. Click on OK. Create a third calculated field. Call this one churn rate. Our calculation here is bracket customers over the last six months minus the customers from the last three months divided by the customers from the last six months. Click on OK. Right click on churn rate, choose default properties, number format, change it to a percentage to zero decimals. Click on OK. Drag months to the columns and churn rate to the rows. And now we have our three month churn rate. But notice we have these three fields down here that are at zero. We want to get rid of those, but we can't just filter them out. Otherwise, our calculations for the future periods won't work. So to do that, we need to build our fourth calculation. I'm going to call this one last three months. And for the calculation, type in index less than or equal to three. Click on OK and drag that field to the columns. Right click on last three months, choose compute using and months. Now you see down here in the true, we have our first three periods. So right click on true and choose hide. Then move last three months to the detail. And now you have your three month customer churn rate. To add a bit of context to it, I'm gonna to go to the analytics pane, drag on an average line for the table. And now for even more context, duplicate the sheet. Drag customers last six months to the right hand side to make it a dual axis chart. Then drag customers last three months on top of that axis to create a combined axis. On the marks card, go to the measure value shelf. Change the mark type from automatic to a bar. Go up to analysis on the menu, stack marks, and turn them off. Click on size and reduce the size a bit so there's no overlapping. And now we can see we have the customers from the last six months, the customers from the last three months, and then the three month churn rate. Don't forget to right click on that churn rate axis and make sure that it's in the front. Now we want to calculate the six month churn rate. Create a new sheet. Right click on customers last six months and choose duplicate. Right click on the copy and choose edit. Rename it customers last 12 months. All we need to change in this calculation is the minus five to minus 11. Again, we're standing in position zero. We go back 11 months and that gives us 12 months. Click on okay. Duplicate the churn rate calculation. Edit the copy. Call this one churn rate six months. Drag customers last 12 months in place of customers last six months in both places. Drag customers last six months on top of customers last three months. Click on okay. Drag months to the columns. Customer churn rate six months to the rows. Right click on it and make sure it's computing using months. And now again, we have these extra months down here that are returning zero because there's not enough data to calculate. 
So duplicate our last three months calculation. Right click on the copy and choose edit. Rename it last six months. And our index calculation is gonna be less than or equal to six. Click on okay. Drag last six months to the columns. Right click on last six months, choose compute using and months. Right click on true and choose hide. Drag last six months to the detail shelf. And now you have your six month customer churn rate. Like we did last time, we can add a bit of context by dragging on an average line. And for even more context, we can add the number of customers over the last six months and over the last 12 months. Duplicate the sheet, drag customers last six months to the right hand side to make it a dual axis, drag customers last 12 months on top of that axis to make it a combined axis. On the marks card, choose measure values, change the mark type from automatic to a bar. On the analysis menu at the top, choose stack marks and off. Now notice that the 12 months are in front of the six months. So rearrange them on the measure value shelf. Click on size, maybe reduce them a bit so they don't overlap. Right click on churn rate six months and move the marks to the front. And there you have it. In four calculations and eight steps to build the view, we know how to build the three month customer churn rate and the six month customer churn rate. You can swap any of these calculations out for different time periods, let's say quarters, and for different lengths of time. Let's say you wanna calculate a nine month churn rate. And you know what? You could even parameterize this so that you can allow your user to build the churn rate they're interested in. If you think you'd like to see that, leave a comment and let me know. If you learned something in this video, please give it a like. And don't forget to click on subscribe. I want you to become great at Tableau, and I don't want you to miss any of the videos I create that are gonna help you get there.